Subject-Verb Agreement Subjects and verbs must agree in number, singular or plural. That means if the subject is singular, only one, then the verb must also be singular. If the subject is plural, more than one, then the verb must also be plural. Here's a tip. Usually if the subject does not end with an S, then the verb does end with an S sound. In present tenses, nouns and verbs form plurals in opposite ways. A motivated learner studies on his own time. This is the singular sentence. We're talking about a single learner. Studies has the S sound, but learner does not. Motivated learners study on their own time. This is the plural version. Notice in the first sentence we use A when we're talking about a singular A motivated learner, but in the second one when we're talking about learners, we don't use an article. We just say motivated learners study, and study does not have an S sound. And we also had to change the pronoun from his in the first one to their in the second one. If there is a verb phrase, the first helping verb must agree with the subject. The learner has studied as much as he can find. We have learner, which is singular, so use has. In the second sentence, it's plural. The learners have studied as much as they can find. Here's a tip. Be careful with contractions. Doesn't means does not. Use doesn't with singular subjects. She doesn't ride the bus on Tuesdays, or she does not ride the bus on Tuesdays. Don't means do not. Use don't with plural subjects. They don't ride the bus often. They do not ride the bus often.